Bruh. It's not working. I've been debugging this for about a half hour now and it's it's legit not working. So in the second video that I made on this channel, I created an automation that locks the house and turns on the music and reads my events that's happening in like the next 16 hours. And that automation worked well, but there's a part where I had to put a delay right after announcing the events because Google would cut it short to play the music. Now I asked if any one of you knew any other ways that were less hacky and I actually got some pretty good results. So I decided that I'm gonna try some of these. There's two, there's two I'm gonna try. Um, so the first suggestion that I wanna try is from Rodney AZ. I'm giving a disclaimer from now. If I butcher your names, I'm sorry. It's like, I'm sorry. But yeah, so Rodney mentions using Google Assistant SDK. Um, and um, it's super simple in terms of just like being able to use this, uh, the SDK. It actually never clicked that I could use it for this particular use case. Even though I remember reading there in like, let's see broadcast message to Google Assistant speakers and displays without interrupting music or video playback. It didn't click that I can update this, but so I'm glad that you brought it up. So let's try it. All right, so here I'm in Home Assistant. Uh, let's look at the SDK. So we have the Google Assistant SDK and it talks about, you know, what it can do. And let's see. Prerequisite, you need to configure the developer credentials and blah, 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 blah. To be honest, guys, like stuff like this is super boring and tedious. I hate going through this type of stuff, but luckily I already did. If you want to learn how to do it, um, this isn't that channel, I'm sorry. Uh, you're probably just best to go through these instructions. Yeah, my bad. So for now, I'm going to go to Home Assistant, add integration, Go to Google and then next here, and then let's look for the Google SDK. Hmm. Am I missing something? It's this one, right? Uh, I'm going to do something. I'm gonna reset. Um, yeah, I'm gonna reset this thing here. One moment. Settings, Home Assistant Core. Let's update all of this stuff. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Okay, so I just learned something. Yeah, I had to update to the 2023 version. That's why it wasn't showing up. Um, so now that I've updated Home Assistant, um, when I search for it, I see it. Before I was just seeing that, and I'm like, yeah, that doesn't feel right. Uh, yeah, I got it right there, right there. So that's good. So let's click. All right, so then it wants all of this information, auth secret. Uh, so it just occurred to me that I should probably let you guys read the instructions instead of me walking you through it. Um, each of your situations are gonna be different. Um, and just in case Google decides to change this tomorrow, um, I don't want this to be misinformed. So go through read it it's not that difficult and if you are having trouble i'm certain that there's someone out there that created videos to walk you through how to do this but that's not me though oh look at that i did it all right so it looks like we've added it which is good so then now let's go to my favorite part the automations portion we're going to build the automation okay so here's how this one works so i have the akara cube I just refer to it as the master Omnicube because I keep it in the master bedroom and I make it do a lot of different things. Um, so for this particular one, I basically have it so that when I shake the cube, we can then if we look at this part right here on shake, then I have it look at the calendar and then from the calendar, it's basically gonna convert those things or it converts the calendar information into sentences. And then from those sentences, I tell it to go and play on the master bedroom. And then I have it wait two minutes. And I think I actually dropped this. So this name may be wrong. So yeah, I have it wait 30 seconds. Uh, I found that I don't need to wait the whole two minutes. It takes it about maybe 30 seconds tops to read whatever's in the calendar. Cause it's not like I'm a busy guy. <sighs> but anyways, um. And then after it waits to uh, 30 seconds, it goes to sleep. 
Um, this is a part that I want to change. These three connecting nodes, this play on master bedroom, wait two minutes and start the sleep music. I'm going to have the sleep music start first, then I'm going to have it take those sentences and, oh, but then it's over here. Well, we'll figure it out. Essentially, I'm going to make this work. I'll figure it out. So let's see how we're going to do this. I do know I want to disconnect all of this stuff here. So let's disconnect this line. Let's disconnect this line. And let's just put this over here for now. Mm, that did not go the way I wanted it to go. Take that over here. I'll disconnect this for now. Move this out the way. What I'm going to have it do is I'm going to have this now connected to a new node. So let's say call service. Actually, I don't think I need to change call service. Let's just actually, yeah, um, because I don't, I don't want to undo it. So let's, we're going to call service and let's just say, um, let's say announce calendar events. All right, and then now let's look at services. Now, the thing is that I don't remember what this thing is called. So when I go into Google Assistant, it'll tell me. So Google Assistant SDK text send text command. Service notify google.sdk. Ooh, so apparently I didn't read, I'm sorry. You can use services to send commands to Google. But what I really want was this notify. I'm sorry, guys. I am. I just need to read. I don't read. All right. So we're going to go back. We're going to go and look for notify. But I don't think it's going to be like that, though. Let's see. So let's see if I can find something else that will let me notify. I see notify here. We're going to try that one and see what shows up. Notify. Look at that, Google System SDK. Let's try that one. And this is what I was expecting to see. So I found it. Ah, your boy found it. Okay, so I'm gonna just leverage with you guys. Um, I thought I can do like a stream of consciousness kind of like thing where I can just go through for the very first time and kind of make these changes on the fly. Um, and I did, but... Uh... It turned out to be pretty long and I don't want to bore you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just skip to the important parts and give you the important outcomes of what I discovered. You'll still kind of see more or less what I did, but I'm going to skip around. Comma, target, and then we're going to say office. I need to put that in quotes. Office. All right, so just to recap, I have data set to JSON nada, and inside that JSON uh, object, I have the message equal to msg.tts. This is basically the variable that's gonna get sent from the previous node that has the sentences that I wanna speak. And then we gave it a title, and then the target is set to office, and that's what it is in uh, Google Home, uh, the display set to office. All right, we're done. All right, so then I wanna test this out so I don't think I have any things on my calendar right now. So let's go add something there. Or better yet, maybe I can just pump something in. So let's just pump something in. So here we're going to say inject. We're going to connect it. And then we're going to double click on here. Message. And then TTS. And then we're going to say... Mm, hello world. Done. All right. Hopefully this plays on the speaker here. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear, but we'll see what happens. Let's deploy. And let's try it. Bruh, it's not working. Um, and I've been debugging this for about a half hour now and it's it's legit not working. Um, I tried it this way that you see on the screen. I've also tried dumbing this down even further and just simply just hard coding values inside. 
and it's not that the display or node red isn't working because i've tried this in the services so even outside of node red i've tried the developer tools the services that's not working i tried using the google command so the sdk allows you to um, broadcast and it also allows you to send text commands the text commands work fine i'm able to turn off and on my lights do different things i can't broadcast it's the broadcast service that's not working from this sdk let me know if I did something wrong. Like, I would love to get this working because I was really excited about using this. So, um, let's just pivot. So the next suggestion is pretty interesting because it leverages out-of-the-box features from Node Red. Um, and it basically uses, like, clever states to just solve this problem as opposed to relying on third-party tools. Um, so this suggestion was a tag team effort by Benjamin Olds and Elk Ropak. Let's just see if we can get this working. What they said essentially was to look at the states, the idle state of the device of Google, and then based off of that, we can try to um, tell it to move on or to stay where it's at. Okay, so we have a wait until. So we're going to use this. And then we're going to also look and see what we can find here. So the entity we're going to look for is the... For testing purposes, I'm in the office, so I'm going to use the office display for now. And then now the thing is that I don't know the property that I need to look at. So the way that we can test this out is to do this. Let's get current state. I'm just going to borrow this timestamp and we're going to also borrow this debugger. And we're going to check the current state of display. All right, so let's see what we're gonna get. Status off. All right, I'm gonna make it play music and then I'm gonna see what it says from there. Play lo-fi chill study beats. Okay, here's a Spotify playlist called chill lo-fi study beats. So now it's playing. Let's see what the state is. Ah, it says it's playing. All right. It looks like we may, this may work. It looks like this may work. So we're gonna wait until the office display. And then looking at this stuff, usually it just reads from the payload. So we're just gonna say, sorry. So it doesn't read from the payload, but instead it reads from the state. I figured this out maybe five minutes later after debugging. Um, so I'm just going to correct this now and spare you guys. You've been through enough. State. Done. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm also going to remove this timeout. Finish speaking. I feel like this is going to work. I have a sixth sense about these things. All right. Let's first start the music. Play chill lo-fi steady beats. Okay, so that's playing. We're deployed. Let's run this and see what happens. All right, so it's sitting and waiting, just like what we expect. And then now I'm going to stop this. Stop. And there it goes. Oh, boy, we cooking, man. We cooking. We cooking. All right, all right, all right. So this version worked. Let me say, Benjamin Olds, El Ropak, is that, is that, did I say that right? Elk Ropak, thank you. This worked very well. Um, I'm going to now replace this and make this work within this entire flow. All right, so then let's logically walk through this. When I initiate this flow with the shaking cube or by shaking the cube, it's gonna go take this path for shake it's going to look at my calendar and in the calendar, it's basically going to look for the past 16 hours and get those particular events. It's going to take those events and it's going to break the text down. And it's basically going to let me know what's happening on what day or say that I have nothing. And I went over this before, so this should look familiar to you guys. And then it's going to play on the master bedroom. Since it's going to be playing on the master bedroom, the state of it should be not off. 
And as a result, when it reaches here, it's going to actually wait for Google to stop speaking. But uh, we shouldn't just let this wait indefinitely because things go wrong. So from an engineering point of view, we should probably we should have proper fail safes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a 60 minute timeout. Actually, no, a two minute timeout. So let's just say two minutes. So essentially what this is going to do is it's going to wait for two minutes. And if something goes wrong or if it hasn't stopped speaking within those two minutes, it's just going to move on. And in our case, that's going to show up as this second line down here. So this time now, I want it to play music if it does time out. So whether or not it finishes or it dies or it couldn't figure out anything, it's always just going to default to starting music. And then, of course, everything else here is the same, where it's going to turn off the lights, it's going to arm the house. And um, now I'm going to just remove this. This made me sad. I wished it. I really wished it worked, guys. Like, I would have liked for the music to start and then for it to do the whole voiceover and, like, bring the music down low. That, that would have been really, really nice. But... <sighs> These things happen. So with that being said, this, for all intents and purposes, works. So congrats, guys. We did it. We updated this, so now it is less hacky. It'll play the, it'll let me know the events for whatever's going on in the particular day or particular night, and it'll wait until it's done speaking before it moves on to the music. Otherwise, if it's speaking too long, which it won't, I don't do much, it'll go on to the music as well. So. All right, man, I feel like we need confetti or, I don't know, dance or some kind of victory music. This is great, man. This is exciting stuff. Let's see what else we can fix.